Hello and welcome to the first episode in this series of Let's Play Total War Three Kingdoms. Um, for this particular series we will be playing as um, Gondu. He is one of the Yellow Turban Remnants and we will be starting at Rise of the Warlords. Um, now despite having lodged nearly 1000 hours in this game I have never played as a Yellow Turban faction before. I did try her Yi out for maybe about 20 minutes um, but that's about it so I'm very unfamiliar with this type of faction and these types of characters um, which should make this fairly interesting as I'm gonna have to try and learn as we uh, as we progress um, we will be playing on legendary difficulty with no time limit on battles and without timeless characters um, the, uh, the battle realism is locked on anyway, so we can't pause during battles. So, I mean, it may be a short campaign, given I really know nothing about how these factions work. Um, now, the uh, the first thing... Oh, um, we do also have the mod WDG Season 2 update um, on here as well, which does edit some of the artwork. It makes no changes to stats or anything else. Um, so it is literally just the artwork that will be changed. Um, just to try and freshen things up a little bit because uh, I'm a bit sick of seeing all the generic generals. It'd be nice to uh, to spruce things up. Um, ironically, it doesn't seem to have actually affected him. He looks, I'm, I believe he looks the same in vanilla, that guy, um, Jung Kai. Um, so the first things first is uh, to look at the unique features and uh, units and, and everything else of this faction. Um, Domination of Gongdu increases campaign movement range, increases loot from battles. Okay, that's nice. So as our dominion increases, I assume these increase as well. Um, campaign movement range could be, if you've got a big empire, I mean, that could be a little bit broken, but I guess we'll see how it works. Um, unique features, uh, we've got Guardians of the Land unlocked from the start. That's nice. Heavy assault infantry, um, roll front line, good armor and good in melee. Um, guerrilla Warfare, Military Building Chain, post battle Loot Income and Military Supplies, that's nice. Um, and we can liberate Minus Public Order and Enemy Commanderies, steals food and reserves from local region, okay. That could be, uh, that could be an interesting mechanic to, uh, to play around with. Noteworthy characters, we have Jung Kai, who is the Slayer of Tyrants, and he is a veteran. Um, the unjust rulers of the old regime shan shall perish. Now, I am not really familiar with the differences in yellow turban uh, units whether I think there's veteran healer and scholar I think if, if I'm not missing anything else um, they're obviously different to the standard um, generals vanguard sentinels commanders strategists champion etc um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this works but I assume from the color code he's, he's possibly part champion part strategist maybe or he doesn't have any resolve traits um, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how how these characters work as well. Um, plus 50 post-battle loot income, that's nice. Minus 20 recruitment cost for spear infantry, also nice. Plus 15 armor for all spear infantry. I do tend to use quite a lot of spears, so this sounds like it's going to be nice. Um, character background, it would be unwise to suggest that Gongdu does not share his brother's zealous belief in the Yellow Turban cause. Yet he views victory through a more practical lens. The Taiping Jin, the way of great peace, dictates that harmony between heaven and earth can only be brought about through the defeat of evil. And Gongdu is primarily concerned with how that defeat should be brought about. War, war making is his business, logistics, manpower, strategy, and he intends to thrive in this endeavor. Um, so I wonder if it's like you put it certainly seems like he's part strategist with these traits. But uh, I suppose we'll uh, we'll see how this works out when we get in the game. Um, we will be playing on romance mode because uh, for all the generals are a little bit overpowered, I do prefer the character-centric approach that that mode takes. Fei 
，洛阳一片火海，诛灭燕患后，朝野混乱，汉室起于姬心之上。天绝言流，汉作以终。天下早已改其意志，公都深知百姓疾苦，举兵起义就在此时。嗯、主公，洛阳焚毁都是董卓一手酿成的大祸。如此。这汉室终结之开端，何其壮观！这都是董贼干的好事，诸侯已联合奋起反抗。汉室分崩离析、终结灭亡之时，正是我等英雄豪杰起誓之时。主公，他们没有忘记过你。今日虽然敌众我寡。但是我等之志坚不可移，是要匡扶天下，此战必胜。眼下，我军唯有坚守，才能得以生存。而南部和西部，都是易守难攻之地。待我等准备停当，平定天下，定要无人可挡。推翻旧朝，时机已到。公都大人，可高举黄金大旗。奔赴沙场。All right. Um. So the time to tear down the old dynasty approaches. Gongdu, raise the yellow banner and ride to war. We certainly will, advisor. Um. Establish your power, Gongdu. As the Han begins to destroy itself, your opportunity has finally come. The Empire still has power, and we are few. So we must gather our strength before striking. To the west and south are lands we could use to consolidate, but be wary not to let the empire overwhelm you. When you are ready, there will be none who can stop our righteous attack. The yellow banner of war rises, and the objectives are to annex yellow turban regions and be wary of Ma Tung and Zhang Lu. Mission issued. The Yellow Turbans march to battle. Gong Du leads the charge. While our situation is dire, we may still be able to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Our soldiers have nothing to lose and are eager to fight. Slay the enemy oppressors and rekindle the spark of rebellion. Engage the enemy army. Left click. Okay, so it's just a starting battle. Uh, defeat an enemy force, and we will get a poor miss. Very nice and uh, bonus experience. So that. They both sound very nice. Um, through study and reform, greater heights are reached. Without the eternal reason, we are powerless. Study the three books for the wisdom contained therein. will strengthen us and it could help turn the tide of this conflict. Study Okay, so this is your reform tree and it's giving me the Book of Earth, which is 10 resolve and 10 authority plus 8 satisfaction, 4 public order and plus 30% food production. The Legend of Three Sovereigns has much to teach of moral correctness and fortitude. Well, yeah, apparently it does. I mean, this is already seeming a little bit broken. Um, and I have... I have heard that the Yellow Turbans can be somewhat overpowered. Um, but I guess we'll uh, we'll just deal with it. We haven't got many starting ancillaries, and the, one that we, the ones that we do have are not very good. Um, so... Oh, we've got a different end turn. Oh, it's because the the reforms pendant. Okay. Um. So I guess the uh, the first thing to do would be. Oh, so we we can't. Can we not put that book, or is it just because we can't put it on the faction leader? Maybe. Huh. Okay. It was that a reward for something? Is that why? Ah, right, okay, yeah, reward on success, of course. Um, and that's to research your... Okay, so we don't have to really do much to uh, to get that. Let's see what we've got here. Well, this is different. Um, okay, so we can encourage militias. Um, I don't actually want to choose that. I just want to... Yeah. Okay, that gives us chanters um, who are support... 
sword infantry and the militia of virtue who are frontline spear infantry now I think we get them um, heavenly reason plus 10 enlightenment what is enlightenment um, is that like prestige yeah okay so gain 24 additional enlightenment now we can get to Healed, Empowered, Ascended, Enlightened, and Yellow Sky Mandate. Okay, so uh, at least I understand that bit. Um, so we're, we're actually working towards Enlightenment as opposed to Prestige. Um, I'm assuming that plus four satisfaction is for the entire faction. It's not... Uh, yeah, in fact, it's applied faction-wide. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. Right, um, so... Uh, and it, does that mean it takes four turns to research? I'm assuming that's what that means. So do we have variable turn limits? No, they're all four t Oh, okay, then the second one's a sit Right, okay. I'm seeing how this works now. Um, do we have... Is that cavalry unit? White wave horsemen. This almost feels like a new DLC because I've really never come into contact with these uh, units. I don't know whether they're good or not, but I'm going to guess that they're shock cavalry. Yeah, they're shock cavalry. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, we've got these are reclaimers. Anti cavalry. That could be useful, especially because we're um, around the Siliang region where cavalry is abundant. Horseback huntsmen. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of cavalry archers. Um, Okay, campaign movement range is nice. 10% income from looting settlements. Nah, we'll not take that. Uh, okay, so this is where we start, and we've got the Guardians of the Land, Stalwart, Shield, to a heavy spear infantry. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll be looking at getting some of these guys, and uh, which cavalry we won't be able to. Uh, we're not going to be able to recruit I just want to see can I check no oh maybe I can see in military um, so it's current retinue we've got we've got quite a few uh, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna have to deal with um, with mounted archers in this case um, yellow turban horsemen okay so we do have access to some um, cavalry units that's good guardians of the land uh, no hold on what is th oh it's because I'm clicked on this right okay um, I would like to know so let's see what he gets 20 resolve 20 cunning and 20 so he's basically a champion a strategist and a um, vanguard all put together and is he the same legendary veteran and he is also legendary veteran oh but he's got expertise resolve and instinct So they're not necessarily, they're not necessarily even um, similar to the regular game units. Oh, we can give them title. Okay. So, um, is that something we have to unlock, or? It seems a little bit strange that you'd be able to give Yellow Turbans uh, titles, to be honest. Perhaps that's uh, an oversight. I hope it's not some sort of conflict with the mod. I doubt it. Uh, he's not even affected by the mod, so... Um... So, huh. Are you the same? Yeah. You're a scholar. Interesting. So the, uh, the scholar... Yeah, he's got a little bit of cunning, but less, a lot less than Gongdu. Um, and he is commander and sentinel, I would assume, but I'm guessing it doesn't work that way. Yeah, he's got no authority or expertise. So I think we're just going to have to start from scratch with these um, these character classes and just try and figure out... Really? It's bound. Okay. If you say so. Bit of a crappy armour to be bound, but <laughs> sure. Um, right, okay, so I think um, because we can already get cavalry, and I'm assuming the other ones will probably be too expensive to recruit uh, at the minute anyway, I think what we're going to do is um, 
with the satisfaction. Um, it's going to take four turns though, which isn't great. Um, but none of these things are really that good. I mean, that could be useful for for them guys, but I mean, we've we can get them already, or or we've got them already anyway. A campaign movement range could be useful. I think that might be what we go for actually. Yeah. Um, so we'll go for campaign movement range because while you have um, only a few army armies, it can be difficult to cover your entire territory. So. Yeah, we'll go for the movement range. Um, is there somewhere I can see my dominion? Playstyle focus, reading and looting. Okay. Um, it, it says that dominion changes your um, campaign movement range, but I don't see any measure of dominion anywhere. Perhaps that's something that will. Uh, perhaps that's something that will come with time. Okay. Um, so first of all, we need to try and see if we can get some satisfaction on this guy. It's, I mean, I would say that's not useful for him, but I'm not entirely sure what's useful for anyone at the minute. So we'll um, we'll give him that. That'll stop him from being too unhappy. Uh, okay, we can give him titles. His current position is follower. Ah. Increases over time and can be accelerated by friendships with the faction leader. Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting uh, title system. And it, it ups his experience as well. That could be... Uh, that's quite an interesting trait, that. And I think we'll give him... Um, yeah, we'll give him that as well. And this guy's not very happy either. He's also a follower. And he's beautiful, apparently. So, um... Only if this character is a Lord of Virtue. Okay. Lord of Virtue is new. What kind of... This skill tree looks so foreign to me. Um, right, well, yeah, I mean, you're unhappy, but I'm not that bothered about you at the minute. You're a brewer. Okay. Right, we'll, um, we'll see if... Let's see what sort of titles we get. So we got General of the People, General of the Land, General of Heaven, Great Healer, Great Commander, Great Learned One, and Local Leaders. That must be Administrators, I'm assuming. Uh, we don't have a family tree. This is what initially put me off the uh, the Yellow Turbans, is that you couldn't kind of continue your lineage. But I suppose we'll, uh, we'll bear with it and see how interesting we can make it without that. Now, we can't recruit anyone. So we're going to have to fight this battle, as is. I mean, these battles are never particularly challenging, but this one, I think, is going to be an absolute cakewalk. Um, so let's let's attack him. Oh uh, yeah, give it a moment to save. Okay, we've already got night battles unlocked. That's nice. This all seems tremendously overpowered. Um, let's uh, let's start battle and then we'll see. I mean, maybe when we get into the late game, it'll balance out a little bit. Okay. So, um, we've got... Three speed units. Probably should have done this in the deployment phase, but never mind. Um, so, three speed units and uh, three mounted archers who also have fire arrows. I mean, this is... So we've got a night battle, we've got fairly strong generals and we've got mounted archers with fire. Um, I can't imagine that this will be too challenging. Um, he might duel. Um, I think we'll uh, we'll see what you've got first of all. I'm quite interested in all how strong he is. That could be... Uh, oh, is this... Is this passive? Desperate quite active buff, okay. Well, why can't I... Why can't I use that? Or is that active already? Oh yeah, okay, so active active buff. Um, right. Yeah, so he just he buffs that. Wow, that's, that's a strong buff to have. 
Um, right, okay, let's see if you will... Yeah, let's... We want to see if you'll duel. Um, for you, we can get the archers. Yeah, we want to use fire. Don't fire at will just yet. And uh, you go there. Yes, we want to duel you. We'll just move out of the way of that challenge. Just to, to try and make it so that we're not just running straight into his men. Are they advancing? No, they're not. Right, okay. Um, yep. By all means... Oh, let's uh, let's get him actually in the uh, in the vicinity of this duel so that we can take advantage of this crazy effective range duration of 15 seconds with 120 second cooldown. Okay, so that that makes it a bit less crazy, I suppose. Yeah, so we're now buffing him with that, and uh, let's give him binding fury. Um, now, is this active on him now? Nature's ally. Well, it's not shown as active on him, but it, uh, it does appear to be. It's just strange that it's grayed out as if I should be able to use it. Um, I'm going to assume that that's... Wow, he's actually, uh, he's actually doing quite well. I, uh, I expected this to be. I expected this to be a bit of a kickball for Mr. Zhang Kai. He's a level one basic Han general. Yes, he has the um, the melee evasion buff, but I mean, come on. Wow, maybe these characters are not as overpowered as I had initially thought because um, he is getting. Pretty badly beaten here. Let's try this again and hopefully it hits. Was that? Okay. Yeah, that that once again didn't hit. Um, we're not we're not doing too well here. Either that or this guy's just really strong for some reason. Perhaps I should have... Uh... So we've got advantages over him in most areas, but he still seems to be just... really taking us for a ride here. Um, we're equalising it a little bit now, but I mean, we still are not winning. I uh, I was not prepared to lose one of my generals or even get his health this low this early on. Um, in another ten nine seconds now, we can use Binding Fury again. Okay, we're we're now starting to level it out a little bit. That's, uh, that's encouraging. We can hit him with that. Yes, we did. We got him. Right, brilliant. Okay, that's uh, that's now put us in a winning situation. Are they are they now retreat? No, they're not. But they might after he dies. Um, in which case, we we are going to run them down. And... Now, come on, finish him off. Finish him off, Mister Junkai. This guy's a lot stronger than I uh, I thought. Yeah, come on, he's, he's on death's door. Will you please finish him off? Oh. Oh, I thought we had him there. Yeah, come on. If he ends up winning this... Oh, here we... No, it's still not. If he ends up winning this, this is pathetic, Junkai. And we're now very tired. Um, this is getting too close for comfort. Will you please take this guy out? Oh, there we go. There we go. We, we got him, I think. Yeah. Oh, and we lopped off his head. Well, that was uh, that was intense for a first duel. Right, okay, they're now running away. We are going to chase them down. Um, mainly with Gongdu. Let's get you guys after them. Are you back on your horse? No, well, get back on your horse first, please. Um, archers. Might as well. Would you please get back on your horse? Why? 
Yeah, just walk around it a couple of times. Yeah, you know what? You're a lost cause, and do you know what? You, you did terribly in that duel, so maybe you don't even deserve the extra experience from running these guys down. It'd be interesting, I think with the, uh, the starting battles anyway, um, when you defeat them, they do always go away permanently, which uh, is nice, but it never hurts to, uh, to run them down, so let's just speed that up a little bit. Um, they are pretty close to the edge of the battlefield, so we're probably not going to get all of them, but we'll get a good few. In fact, we're probably best off just sticking with this unit. Yeah, right, that'll do. Um, so he's killed 100, that's nice. Um, let's 105 now, let's claim victory. We've got a decisive victory, and um, we'll end the battle. Right, oh, so um, that was a fairly decent victory. We took more damage on, um, I forget his name, Zhang Kai, um, than we would have liked to, but we didn't lose any soldiers. Uh, we captured 14, and apparently they have 375 remaining, so perhaps um, they will stick around. They don't have a general, though. Um, I think we will... Well, we don't need the rough punishment. Let's let's take the income. Okay, so uh, he is dead. We'll give it a moment to save. Uh, the yellow turbans marched battle. Gong Du leads the charge. Gained poor mate. So have we got two of them now? Because he had one already. Um, the powerful are useful to Gong Du and the yellow turban cause. People are eager to rise up to fight for our cause, my lord. We should organize them under a captain and have them join our army. Hmm. Uh, maintain a total of one unit of the following type. Yellow Turban Spearman Captain. Okay. Well, that's, that sounds easy enough to do. Challenge issued. Gongdu seeks to expand the Yellow Turban fight. Wrestling control of a heavily guarded settlement from tyrannical warlords will be difficult. My lord, look for opportunities for expansion elsewhere. Liberating a village from chaos and oppression is the best way to further our cause. Settlements sympathetic to the Yellow Turban cause also can be annexed, bringing their resources and benefits under your control. Challenges are not required for victory, but provide a test for those who seek to follow in the footsteps of history. Um, capture and occupy any settlement. Well, okay. Don't mind if I do. Uh, you're still unhappy. So do we have two of these maces now then? Yes, we do. Okay, okay, no, but they're not the same. We've got two-handed mace, which is a bronze item, and the poor mace, which is silver item. Yeah, so that's just a, a better version of that then. So uh, let's give you that, and uh, next turn we will give him the uh, the poor mace. Um, and next turn we'll also be able to get that crazy powerful book as well. Strangely enough, his main skill seems to be resolve. I don't think there's any comparison to, to champions and what have you, to be honest. It, it certainly isn't apparent if there is. Um, what else did we get? Nothing. Um, you're still a follower. Right. So let's... Um, what is, what's, yeah, that's right there. Um, so we could quite easily annex... What is... What is this? That's not... Is that because we can annex it, or...? Um... Well, I suppose... With compelling arguments, the settlement can be convinced that the surrendering without a fight. It will be handed over to you immediately. Okay, then let's uh, let's do that. Um, integrate. I don't see why not. It's obviously there for the taking. Okay, um, so we've now completed that. We've got two thousand gold already. With infrastructure, Gongdu builds on the people's strength. We should consolidate our hold over our territories and rebuild their infrastructures to better serve the people. If you order the workers to erect new buildings, our settlement will endure. Yeah. 
The yellow turbans strive for balance in the world. You must prove to the people that you will use the power to bring lasting stability. Each step on your path towards enlightenment also brings everyone closer to the great peace. To progress through the ranks, you must gain enlightenment by growing... Yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's essentially a, a prestige mechanic. Um, did we get... No, we didn't get anything for that, but we did get a lot of gold. I think. Um, okay, we've got my tongue here, and we are at war with them. Who else are we? Oh, we're at war with a lot of people, right? Um, basically, the uh, the Empire factions and the uh, these guys in the in the northern region. Um, right. Well, that army's not particularly scary, but. Their cavalry is pretty good, and uh, although we do have these guys, I guess. Um, right, let's see what we can build. We can do headquarters, which ah, that's uh, that's fairly useful. Uh, what is uh, House of Scrolls Temple Shrine? Okay, forges. Um, why is that? Is that just because it's a unique build, and I just wonder why it's uh, got this legendary? It must be because it's a unique build, and I, I assume. Um, it's not that useful, though. I mean, does it give you? I mean, it, it will, I suppose, when we get a few of them. That that income will um, stack, and plus two public order gives some commerce income. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much about public order. Food, we probably use food. Okay, but if we look at this, do we already own? Oh yeah, we do. So we've already got uh, Wudu uh, Copper Mine. Um, so let's go for, we've got public workshops. Let's do, oh, I would like to, uh, I'd like to get one of them, but I guess we can't. Okay, so we need a small city to be able to do that. Ah, this is uh, fairly useful. So we get plus replenishment and income from industry, as well as ten percent bonus. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's do that. Um, it seems like it should be a fairly good building, but I am not familiar with how to min-max these guys. So, um, oh, we can get uh, Jaiming Pass. That, that will be a useful thing to get, I think. Although it's probably fairly well garrisoned. Oh, not particularly. Uh, we are going to need to probably deal with this guy as well. He's, uh, he's in a bad spot for us. Right, I think there we can... We've already chosen the reform. We can end the turn. And once that's researched, we'll get the, uh, the big old book. Um, but obviously that is going to be four turns from now. Right, so um, on the end turn, we were attacked by Matung. Uh, the enemy, yeah, we know that, Ambassador. Um Now, this is predicting that we get a close defeat. I don't think so. I think we've uh, we've got decent enough cavalry. Yes, his health is uh, diminished, but you're not exactly Machao, and uh, well, you're not exactly anyone really. Oh, you are a White Horse general, though. Um, well. I think we'll be okay. Um, the garrison's not in good shape, but at least we've got something. Um, we've got less troops than theirs. I think if we utilise the defences and the towers properly, we should be able to. Uh, we should be able to probably win this battle. Um, at least I hope so. It would be a shame to um, to lose the first battle and embarrass myself. So let's uh, let's start battle. Okay, so let's see what we can do to uh, try and better protect this settlement. Seems like he's bringing all his men in through one way. He is, which is good. I think we definitely want the fight to take place. Um, at least the majority of the fight to take place here. Um, now we can... We can work it so that they've only got one way in. No, it's not going to be too useful, I don't think, because it's the, it's the way they're coming anyway, so... Hmm... Let's see, we've got one tower there and one tower there, and they overlap. 
so we can hit them with, with essentially four towers. Um, here we got one. Yeah, so again, we, we've really only got four. Uh, but here we do also have the advantage of being uphill, and it's it's pretty crammed in, so they can't get our flank or anything like that. Um, right, I think what we're going to do then, I think we'll have barricades either side, although... No, actually, I, I, we might need to use that um, for mobility. I don't think there's really any point in putting barricades anywhere in this particular battle. Right, let's see what the speed is of their cavalry units. We've got 75 um, to our 95. Okay, well that could be very useful. They do have good armor, I think. They're... Um, not particularly. Right, so I think um, I think what we do then is we get I think we get the archers here. Well, there's not many of them. Uh, we'll leave skirmish off with these. We will effectively just be what is their speed? 97. Okay, so the generals could probably catch them, or at least my town could. Um. I wonder how we can... Yeah, so we, we're actually quite a bit stronger than him. And he doesn't have any crazy moves. He's just got the raw of the beast. I think we might duel my, um, my tongue, but we'll do it um, around these towers. If he'll take a duel, that is. Um, and the, the reason for that, essentially, is to try and get into a position where we can use him to go after the archers but then again um, he's not got much health and this guy's going to be a bit of an issue um, what's the wow he's actually quite strong um Okay, well, we can only do what we can do. Um, let's see, we've still got no good formations for them. I need to check which um, generals will give you access to formations, I think, in, um, in the yellow turbans. Let's get them... Oh, not like that. Um, let's get them positioned... Do we want... Yeah, I think we want them positioned there. We want them positioned there and um, get them behind. Um, and I think we, we will just go for another. Yeah, they've got missile defense. They're not particularly weak to missile units. We could keep them. Yeah, I think actually the, the best way to do this, I think we still want to duel Matang. Um, but I think we'll duel them more so within this tower's range. Oh, that's not a very like, big range, no. Um, we'll duel them there, and we'll keep the spears there. We'll have the swords behind them, and we'll keep this uh, this general. It would be nice to take advantage of that being so uphill, but then it means we've only got one tower, whereas here we would have two. Um, it would nice. It would be nice if he had a bit more health as well. Right. Yeah, I think um, I think that's going to be the best we can do for now. Let's see if we can avoid a, a terrible defeat. So we'll start battle. Uh, okay, he doesn't want to duel. That does make things a little bit tr more tricky. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if we can get a quick. Uh, what are we? Ninety-seven. Um, he is in nine. 
is also a 97, so I think we can get a quick shot. Oh, we can use this now. That's going to be useful. Um, I wonder if we needed the... Let's, uh, let's do a quick charge on these archers. Which, uh, oh, they've now left the, uh, they've put it so that the spears are in the front. Well, that's fine, because we'll delay them a little bit. And uh, they can chase us while they're getting shot by these towers. Um, if they bring their cavalry in first, that would be great. And this is one of the reasons I didn't necessarily want to put those, uh, those barricades in, because if I did, we wouldn't be able to go this way. Yeah, so they're now trying to take that tower. Um, we were unsuccessful, unfortunately, in... Uh, why is he going all the way? What a bizarre path. I don't know what is going on there. I think we'll... Um, what is what is going on with this path? Oh, it's... Uh, I'm on the wrong unit, that's why. Right. Um, well, we've, uh, we've cost them a few units, at least, by uh, charging out, but it wasn't exactly what I'd... Uh, what I'd hope for. Tell you what we'll do. Um, we do want him to be there to give them that buff. So I think we'll take um, Jiang Kai. We'll put him somewhere where he's gonna be able to get the archers. Oh, don't, don't waste your arrows on him, please. Are they all off fire at will now? No, you're not, right. Um, let's see if we can hide him somewhere, preferably. Right, well, he's not hes not hidden, but they're also not necessarily coming after. Oh, he's got a crazy amount of speed. That could be handy. Um, right, okay. Right, oh yeah, now we want you to fire at will, please. And you. Okay, um, now, as soon as they're... Come in. Oh, we need to go a bit further forward. Yeah, now give them that buff. You help as well. I want all three of you. Um, not you as well. I want all three of you to stand your ground. We might as well get the swords in on this as well. You come out here and uh, get them at archers, please. And uh, we'll see, see how this goes. Um, I think we want to get Gongdu in there as well. See if we can take out a couple of their generals. Okay, we've got a spear unit which is routing. That's not good. Gongdu, your ability has not yet recharged. Their cavalry is about to... Uh, be destroyed. We're taking a lot of uh, damage from them archers. I wonder if you can get them instead. Oh, yeah, um, right. We're, we're, we are taking quite a bit of damage here. Uh, why don't you go after him specifically? Right, he can't. Has he lost his horse? Yeah, he's lost his horse. Right, that's, that's not good. Uh, but this mace thing seems to be uh, doing the trick. Oh, they've now rallied. So you come in behind them, please. Actually, go after them. Uh, them archers have withdrawn, so brilliant. You go after them. Why don't you shoot at this unit? Uh, we've killed an enemy general. Right, brilliant. 
Now, everyone, go after them. They should break pretty soon. Why don't you get them? Um, we've got 20 seconds left on that ability. Yep, yeah, brilliant. You might as well use that, see if we can get them to route. Okay. Oh, he's now come back. Probably a bad move, really, my son. Um, let's see if we can mop up a couple of these while we're waiting for him to uh, do something. I think he's probably going to retreat again pretty soon. Uh, he probably thought he had a few more men left than he did. Oh, I forgot he doesn't have a source, does he? Right, well you... Um... Yeah, okay, he's now... Actually, what we're going to do is uh, try and chase him down. And I think the best units to do that will be these guys. Uh, in melee mode. See if we can... Well, actually, the sooner he dies, the, the sooner my chow takes over. And I'd rather deal with him, actually. So let's just leave him. Um, I would like to finish off their troops, though. I'll um, send him... He should get quite a bit of experience for that. We'll speed it up, just to uh, ensure that we're not going to have to deal with them again. Right, that's that little... Oh, no, it's not. Right, well, the, the other cavalry's got them. We'll go after them. Yeah, we got one left there. That's fine. And we'll finish them off, and then we'll call it a day, I think. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, that could have gone a lot worse. I think that went quite well. Heroic victory. Yeah, turns out it did go pretty well. Okay, then. End battle. Okay, so we managed to capture um, Pong De. Um He would rather die than betray his cause. Well, that's too bad for you. Oh, we captured Martong as well. Um, I don't know whether we can use them as yellow turbans, but we uh, will certainly try. So we'll, uh, we'll execute them. Spare my life, I'll be indebted to you. Will you, though? Will you though? That's the question. We could use that spear. Though, though as far as the other turbans are concerned, um, you're a tyrant. And you are cruel and uh, careless as well. Yeah, I think as far as the cause of the yellow turbans, we must sentence you to death, Mr. Um, Matang, Matong. Matong? I think that's how you pronounce his name. But yeah, you're gonna die. However you say your name. These um, we will take the replenishment, I believe. Oh, we... Ah, so the factions are now gone into Regency. Uh, that'll do just fine. Uh, with infrastructure, yep, brilliant. We got some more gold. My goodness, we're well, getting rich for a bunch of rebels. Uh, we got um, Machao's spear, we got the uh, Pang De, his armor, and uh, we got a warglaive from somewhere as well. Just out of curiosity. Oh, well, you've got unique armor anyway, so. Oh, so, so have you. Um, I'd, I'd like to know whether. I'm assuming we can't wear them. Can't really test it just yet. Well, we'll hold on to it for the time being. Um, so I think that's uh, that's pretty much a wrap for uh, for this first episode. Um, we've managed to uh, win two battles and uh, execute Marteng, which is uh, pretty good going. Um, next time we will be looking to expand a little bit more, probably into silk. Maybe, possibly, uh, come this way and start trying to take the Riverlands because uh, they've got an armor craftsman here and a weapon craftsman. There's quite a few nice little um, 
settlements in this area. So uh, I think that's what we're looking to next. Um, but uh, yeah, for the time being, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Total War Three Kingdoms. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more of this content in the future, please subscribe. If you'd like to get some Total War tips, I have a tutorial series that may be useful for you. And if you're interested in the stories behind the characters and setting of the game, there's a lore playlist too. As always, you're welcome to join me for regular Total War 3 Kingdoms live streams on Twitch. Link to my channel in the description. See you next time.